I'll be honest, I don't always like doing these kind of videos, but sometimes it has to be said. It's not good enough just to know the good things to look out for, but we also have to be super aware of the hidden minds that we may come across as we traverse this landscape called life. And it's in romantic relationships is where they are the most hidden. So we're gonna go through six signs you are in a toxic relationship. Before we get into that, I am excited at the one-to-one -one sessions that I've started having with some of you. So if you wanna to begin to level up your love life, click the link below. So the first toxic sign is you struggle to listen to each other. As in you feel that you're not heard or they feel that they're not being heard. And then it seems that they say a completely different point. It can feel like you're arguing about two different things. And then on top of that, you go off on random tangents that you start arguing about things that had nothing to do with the original conversation. And God forbid, God forbid, one of you brings up something of a shortcoming of the other person from the past that has nothing to do with what you're talking about and it's just used as a dig. Which brings me on to the next toxic sign, when you or they cannot let things go. Now there's a difference between not having time to have addressed something that you actually want to talk about and then having something that you've addressed in a fruitful conversation for it then to only be brought up later down the line used against you. And the reason this behavior is so damaging is because it makes someone untrustworthy. How can you open yourself up to someone about your flaws and your fears? And you've done that where you felt it was a safe environment where you weren't going to be judged? for them only to use it against you later. Like, I have a male friend who his father wasn't in his life. And he feels that that had an impact on him about how he views himself as a man, about what good masculinity actually looks like, what strong leadership and taking responsibility actually plays a part in. And there was this girl that he was dating that he was really into, and they'd been seeing each other for a few months and you know it got to the point where he was beginning to open up to her you know start to be a little bit more vulnerable with elements of himself and he shared this with her at the time and she was very warm very comforting very supportive at least in that moment until a couple of months down the line they were having an argument about something and then she said this in the middle of the argument you're probably like this because your father wasn't in your life like Wow, wow. He told me, and then do you know what he then concluded from that moment on? He then said, I'm never sharing on opening up to any girl about this ever again. Now I did talk to him and he's no longer with her, thank goodness, but it took a while for me to help convince him that him opening up and sharing wasn't the issue, it was who he trusted to share that with. That's where the problem was. And that kind of behavior is toxic. It makes us untrustworthy to someone. This next toxic sign that can really affect in someone moving forward is deliberately invoking negative feelings in the other person. This looks like trying to trigger someone into saying something that the other wants them to say or doing something that the other wants them to do. Putting someone down to make themselves feel good or doing an action that is specifically designed to press on someone else's emotional weaknesses. How can someone say that they care about you when they're trying to invoke negative feelings into you? Intentionally so. Surely someone you care about, you want them to feel good around you, right? Well, the basis of this is almost always manipulation. A lot of things we do in life are inspired from a place of emotion. In fact, arguably most things we do are inspired from a place of emotion. We buy things because it makes us feel good. We give money to the guy on the street because it makes us feel that we're doing our part to give him back. We make sure we recycle our things because we want to feel good that we are helping save the planet. As they say, there's no such thing as a selfless deed. Well, if you can dictate someone's emotions, then you can dictate their actions. And that's exactly what this is. It's a malicious form of manipulation. This next sign that is definitely toxic in your relationship is consistent jealousy. Now this one can be hard to spot because there's actually nothing wrong with a little bit of jealousy. Dare I say a little bit of jealousy? That can be healthy for a relationship. It's kind of nice if our partner gets a little bit territorial over us or vice versa. But if you consistently seem to be arguing because one person is jealous of outside attention, that shouldn't be a thing. Because at that point, you should show through your actions or you both have shown through reciprocation that you're in this together. Now, if the outside attention is coming because one person is actively seeking it, that's a different conversation. 
that person then has to check on themselves why are they actively seeking external validation when they're in a relationship but the reality is if you're an attractive person then you're probably going to get hit on by other people that's just what comes with the territory of being attractive and that's not your fault especially if you're not putting yourself out there right but if you seem to get the brunt of your man's frustration at other men hitting on you then that is toxic behavior but equally if you get annoyed because a girl may be flirting with him but he's not inviting it in then equally that's not his fault either right this next toxic behavior and is short and clear to the point any physical abuse anything from a slap on the arm to throwing things across the room all of that is toxic behavior physical abuse is toxic in whatever form it comes in and it doesn't matter whether you're a man or woman it doesn't matter who's bigger or who's smaller it doesn't matter if one of you is known for having a shorter temper than the other one crossing that physical line is toxic no matter what gender you are and it doesn't matter how emotional that we may be feeling in the moment to do any of those things. The difference between children and adults is that children are led by their emotions, whereas adults can acknowledge their emotions but still act accordingly for what the right thing to do is. And I could go on, but I don't need to say any more on this topic. Unless someone's life is in danger, there's no excuse for it. This next sign that your relationship is toxic is if you don't speak to each other. Communication is the foundation of a relationship. The relationship with your mom, the relationship with your dad, with your friends, even the relationship with your dog. Yes, we communicate and we talk to our dog. If you've gone into a point where neither of you want to actually speak to each other, none of you want to raise anything that needs to be addressed, you don't express how either of you are feeling or you don't even want to open up to that person anymore, then at this point, why are you still even there? Eventually, what usually happens is when a couple gets to this point, you're not having any level of release because you would use that release through dialogue, through communicating, through expressing yourself, and you stop doing that. But then at the same time, we're trying really hard not to show the other person that they're getting to us. Trying to mask that you actually you don't care and that you're not frustrated and that they don't have any pull on you. And so you both just end up bottling it in. And eventually, that bottle bursts and it's very common under these circumstances one or both of you can enter into territory that neither of you have ever done before and never intended to you could enter into a really big screaming match or worse one of you could put your hands on the other it's just a ticking time bomb did any of these signs surprise you i really hope you're not in a relationship where you recognize one or two of these signs but then if you do maybe it's not too late to do something about it if you're looking for a guy who sparks up your love life, make sure you subscribe to this wonderful tribe. And as always, keep it slick.